Okay guys, it's time for another Hebs News Update. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at a little fight that happened in practice the other day, huh? Between Romanov and Paquette, we'll talk about all the recent trade rumors, I've got some injury updates, the whole Vinny LeCavalier to Montreal thing, and much more. But first, before we begin, if you're a fan of the Habs, or you think that Drew Doughty's stupid looking helmet looks like something from the Roswell crash, then please consider subscribing to my channel, as I upload a ton of hockey content and would really enjoy having some more you grasshoppers tag along for the roar. Okay, so let's start this one off with a bang or a punch. Because how many of you guys wanted to, you know, just punch Cedric Paquette in the head over the past couple of years? I know I have. His own family, you know, probably wouldn't hesitate to give him a slap to the back of the head most days. And I bet lots of players across the league have wanted to do this as well. And even though they're teammates, Alexander Romanov now gets to cross this one off the old bucket list. Yes. Because at practice on Wednesday, things got kind of heated, you know, like they normally do. We got two fierce competitors here in Paquette and Romeo, and please allow John Liu to give us a rundown on what went down. Then, of course, we'll take a look at the footage and see it for ourselves. Liu says, quote, Paquette got testy after Romanov rode him into the boards during a minigame, shoving and a punch thrown by Romanov in the ensuing scrum. Lou would go on to say, I'm surprised we haven't seen more of this in a frustrating season. Well, you're not wrong, Lou, okay? But we have seen a couple of incidents this year with our boy Romanov often being involved. But anyway, we love the kid, and here's what we got here. It happens quick. Look at that. Boom! Boom! The clip starts off with a big right hand from Romanov. Then we got Piz Dispenser coming into the rescue. He grabs a hold of Romanov and makes sure nothing else happens. While Pocket skates away with his tail between his legs. We also got Jeff Petrie skating by, huh? Having one of his hold me back moments. But anyway, moving on. Speaking of Jeff Petrie, Kent Hughes was asked a couple of days ago about moving Jeff Petrie. And he would say yet again that if we think a deal is the right one, Petrie is out of here. He's gone. As for Ben Sherratt, Hughes would also admit that, hey, he's on the block and he's been getting a lot of calls on old Ben. According to lots of fun, Pierre Lebron, he thinks that Sherratt could be moved within the next seven to 10 days. And Lebron made that tweet a few days ago, meaning it really shortens up his timeline. Now we may get to see Ben Sherratt in action today because Corey Schweinemann, or however the hell you say his name, has been placed on the COVID protocol list. So he's not gonna be around for a little bit and it kinda sucks for him because hey, he was playing pretty decent lately. Now, Darren Dreger was a guest on TSN 690 the other day, and apparently he seems to think that both Hughes and Gordon, they've got a list, okay? And no, it's not a grocery list. It's a quote, like to move list, and the like to keep list. Darren Dreger thinks that both Josh Anderson and Brendan Gallagher are two players that they would like to keep, while Mike Hoffman, Jonathan Drouin, Christian Dvorak, and our Turkey Lekkonen are all players that are on the like to move list. Which is kind of interesting because there's been a lot of talk about Ben Sherratt leaving and Jeff Petrie leaving. But apparently, hey, Hoffman and Drewan are both placed on a shelf at the flea market as well. Now, both of these guys still have contracts after this season, so they could be a little harder to move. Who really knows? We know nothing, right? We know nothing. But uh, one thing we do know is, hey, round of applause. We got him. We finally got him. Vincent LeCavalier has made his way to the Montreal Canadiens organization. Can you believe it? Bringing this guy in here has been quite a long process, okay? Going all the way back to like 2008. But hey, it's 2022 and we got him. The old as balls version. LeCavalier joins Hab's management. He's going to be some kind of an advisor to the general manager. Now a lot of people are questioning this and saying, hey, him and Hughes are friends. He's going to be more of a yes man, but no man. Actually, he's not man because LeCavalier himself would say him and Hughes, we're going to be clashing all the time because that's what we do. They don't always see eye to eye, and he's not going to agree with everything Kent Hughes throws at him. LeCavalier is also not going to be moving to Montreal, okay? He's happy where he is. There's palm trees. He's probably drinking Budweiser out of coconuts. So he's just going to stay home and work from there, but get paid. 
Must be nice. Now, the other big addition a couple of days ago is old Nicky Bobby Bobrov. That's right, he's going to be joining the Habs. He's going to be a big part of the scouting team, and hey, I've actually got some of his draft selections right here, so let's bring him up and have a look. Because this was a scrutinized addition. Some people are not happy with Bobrov. People are saying he hasn't really plucked many good players out of Europe, but keep in mind, he did select David Krejci, and looking at some of his work in New York, it really hasn't been too shabby either of late, okay? I'm trying to be optimistic here, jeez. I mean, it can't be any worse than what we've already seen over the years, so let's give him a chance and see what he can pull out of Europe. Hey, in Gordy, we trust. Now moving on with the injury news, Jeff Gordon was recently asked about Joel Edmondson, and man, things just continue to get worse and worse for this guy. He has been skating on his own, but he's just, he's not ready. Gordon said back surgery is on the table, it's a possibility, they're not ruling anything out, and he's just been having a really rough year. Don't forget his dad passed away, things have not been kind to him. I really don't think we're going to see him back this season, but let's hope he gets the help he needs and he can join the team again soon. The guy is a beast. Now, another thing I wanted to point out here, there's been a lot of people freaking out, you know, and shaving swear words in their heads about Jordan Harris and whether or not he's ever going to play for the Canadians. But guys, relax, because Kent Hughes is on it, okay? Mr. Clean has been doing some work. He's already been talking with this young prospect, and they seem pretty optimistic that he's going to be a part of the team in the future. So keep your socks on. And, uh, yeah, what's up with Adam Brooks, huh? Why is this guy getting tossed around like Marilyn Monroe at a JFK birthday party? Holy moly, this guy must have a jersey of every team in his closet right now. Anyway, guys, the Habs are set to play today. It's going to be an afternoon game, or as I like to call it, an after-dinner-before-supper game. So get ready for that. Well, Cole Caulfield score again. We're all rooting for him now. It's great. He's finally got a coach that stands at his eye level. And who would have knew it's actually working? That does it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to bite the thumb off of that like button. Brandon Lemieux style. And hey, I'll see you next time.